make this speech tomorrow and I still don't know what to do about the economy. Do you recognize this man? If you don't, you're not watching enough television. He's Tommy Wood. Hey, idiot! Rotting in your old filth! What do you think of this excellent lifestyle I am living? Just a few moments to air, Mr. President. Okay, let's clear. Okay, here we go in five, four, three, two. Fellow Americans, I've been staying up late, night hawking it, burning the candle at both ends, thinking about this economic mess we're in, and I'll tell you, the whole thing makes me want to exhale liquid. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, not this time. I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Without further ado, please welcome my new chief economic advisor, the Donald Trump of the Orient and the reigning king of late night television, Mr. Tommy Wu. Come on out here, Tom. Thank you, Mr. Cook. <laughs> Japanese, problem with youth economy is that American worker fat and lazy. Oh, yeah. But they only got it half right. American work are stupid, too. You want to see a nice picture of American auto worker? Then look up imbecile in dictionary. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Stick to the thousand points of life. Sorry. Okay. Plan is so simple, even American can understand it. Step one. Surround yourself with beautiful California girl with intelligence of head life. <laughs> Step two. I sport car. That all makes perfect sense. Then what, Will? But that's it, stupid. Now, people lend you money because they think you're so damn successful. I know it doesn't sound like much, but I've checked it out, scrutinized it, spanked it, diapered it, kicked it in the pants, run it up the flagpole to see who'd salute. And I'm here to tell you, Tom Wu's plan works. <laughs> see? After I took the seminar, I picked up this house. No money down. <laughs> Why can you do that? And that's not all. President Bush got bought. Got private plane. He even took vacation in the middle of Gulf War. And I'll tell you another thing. 
Not every woman I sleep with looks like she just stepped off a $1 bill. Hey there, Georgie's girls. That's right. Since the Bush learned secret, no longer people call him limp with. <laughs> no way, Woo. Not since I bought up five defunct SNLs for 10 cents on that dollar. And how much a profit you make on those, George? I made 300,000 G's, G's for George. <laughs> no, why can't you do that? And not only that, but Tommy Wu's plan worked for Barbara, too. Come on out here, Bar. <laughs> so, if you can read it all, read my lips. Stop stimulating yourself and stimulate economy. And read my lips. <laughs> Ask yourself not what your country can do for you, but ask yourself, why can't you do that? Good night and God bless. is pathetic. I'm shocked that an officer from this precinct has stolen $20,000 in evidence money. Come on, Chief. No one in this room is a thief. I don't know, partner. Smells like someone stole your deodorant. <laughs> I'm gonna search every officer's locker in this room, starting with the head. Chief, you can't be serious. Has never done a dishonest thing in his life. Look at this face. Sorry, Ed. I've got to do what i got to do. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what we have here. I didn't do it. It's a setup. Can't you see it? They're trying to set me up. I didn't take it. You know what your problem is, Ed? You're caught red-handed and you can't even admit it. You have no guts. That just shouldn't surprise you. I don't have any spleen. I got a, a one general and a half a colon. Shut up, man. I'm sending you away for a long, long time. I, I won't go. You can't send me away. Tell him, partner. Get out of here, you thief. Oh. <laughs> I stick my neck out for the force all these years, and this is the thanks I get? I can't it. Hey, man, what are you in for? Oh, I mean, they said I looked up some ladies' dress. It's not like I had any choice in the matter. And I know what you mean. You know, you got kind of a nice smile yourself. Hey, don't touch me. I'm not into heads, okay? <laughs> Say, look, pal, uh, you... Really shouldn't run away from your feelings in here. I mean, we're gonna be here for three years together. Listen, buddy, you stay on your side of the cage, I'll stay on mine, okay? Just leave me alone. I want to get some sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, you know the bed's on my side of the cage. Okay, but you're gonna have to shave first. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me.
Yes, she's done. I was just moved. Guy I met. You didn't. What? Like it? No, I didn't like it. Of course I didn't. It was just a little footsie. Yeah, we'll do that later. Listen, I know who framed your head. Who? Was the chief? Oh, God, no. You gotta get me out of here. All right, hang on. Hey, partner. Yeah. Another thing. Just kind of keep this between me and you. Sure. Our secret, Ed. Thanks. And where the hell do you think you're going? Uh-oh. They got us surrounded, Ed. Nonsense, partner. Remember when you played with Pele? Man, you were the greatest soccer player in the world. Ed, this is no time to reminisce. No, don't just see what I'm driving at. Kick me past them. Too dangerous. Damn it. Just do it. All right, wag on, amigos. <laughs> Why'd you frame me? I had to. For the last six years, you've won the office limbo contest, and I'm sick of it. With you out of the way, I was guaranteed to be limbo champ this year. Now you ruined everything. Hey, well, now it looks like you're going to do some time, Chief. I want you to say hello to my friend, Big Lou. No. No, not Lou. Yeah. Not Lou. Big Lou. He likes it when you touch his beard. Creep. <laughs> darling for that wonderful introduction. I'll wait in the car. Anyway. Yeah, baby. Can I get it? Oh, man. Uh, it's a good thing you cut it off, though, because the Arab was going to make a bid. Uh, by the way, Habib, your wife called the slurping machine is broke. Anyway. I don't know why he's here. Somebody rubbed a lamp and I get three wishes. Uh, no, seriously, my friend, God knows I love the Arab people. I cough their names up every day. Oh, man. Uh, that's very funny. Oh, and you're an Israeli. Pardon me, I didn't recognize you without the gas mask. Uh, let me make you feel at home. Incoming Scott! <laughs> now that's comedy. <laughs> Who asked you? Uh, 
I think it's only fair at this time to address the Iraqi delegate here today. Put your veil back on, ma'am. Oh, uh, he's getting the Polish guy. The Polish guy. He's putting on headphones. He thinks we're going to show a movie. <laughs> Fire on the wing, we're going down! Excuse me, I'm a Czechoslovakian. Oh, big difference. Hitler took them both in 20 minutes. Of course, he had an army. What did you have? Girl Scouts selling cookies at the ball. Anyway... Good to see the Germans reunited again. Siegfried and Rohr. Ah, this is an outrage. This man is going to ruin everything we have accomplished here. I'm sorry. I really didn't know he would be like this. Give him a couple more minutes. I'm sure he'll calm down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the Greek has gotten restless. Let me say something to the Greeks. Stay in front of me, okay, pal? Anyway, seriously, you're a big dummy. Uh, why can't you be more like the Irish? I love the Irish. Always quiet and happy. Watch me wipe the smile off his face. Last call! Anyway... What is he Italian? Paris! Oh! Bless you, sir. The Italians are very much a part of the foundation of this great country we live in. Unfortunately, there are also a couple of them in the foundation of this building. Uh, I'm being heckled by a black guy from Zanaba. Zanaba. Whatever. Aw, uh, didn't I see you on Trilogy of Terror? Anyway. What is your name, sir? My name is Mutambu. Mutambu. English translation, Leroy. Uh, is he coming towards me? Somebody get the elephant gun. Uh, look. Tracks, Matumbo, white women, that one. Uh, seriously, my friend, we're all the same on this earth. And from the bottom of my heart, oh, now uh, this man deserves to be tortured. Let's rig his car with dynamite. Yes, huh? I can get it for your whole cell. I say, shrink his head, shrink his head. Oh. Wait! Raymond isn't over yet. Oh. Well, why don't you go up to the ice rink? You're a bunch of hockey pucks. to be a movie star, Eddie. Didn't you see Amazon living on the moon? Let me refresh your memory. Ah! I should have won an Oscar for that one, Eddie. Now, Byron Allen is doing funnier sketches than me. Kadeem Hardison's out of town. And I got the meals and breathing down my back. So I'm afraid you're going to have to give me some of that be my best friend. Want to hang out with me all night? Murphy Matt back to the show. Look, I, I wanted to do more cameos, but you was always around me. I mean, I needed some breathing room. I mean, I'm sorry for what happened to you a long time ago, but that was a long time ago, all right? I'm sorry. All right? Oh, you don't know long time, Eddie. You have no concept of time at all. You've never had to interview at Asna. And Payne, have you ever tried kissing Diana Ross? The hair 
of moves while you're reaching for the lips, Eddie. Besides that, I've seen the old bitch and Paul that do before the nose job. Now that's pain. Oh, uh, look, look, you're buddy, man. I'm out of here. Vengeance is mine. Tell me, my people. Eddie. Eddie. Let me make myself very clear. I get into 20 million homes a night. I can get into yours. I want your career, Eddie. Your career. Except for the last three music videos you've done. Now, let's see if he's still outside. Eddie, you've been a bad boy. Now, my people tell me you have a restraining order against me, and that is legally binding. But don't feel bad, Eddie. I could be Art Buckwall. Yes. We're going to party all the time. Party all the time. That's it. I'm calling the police. Hello. Yeah, this is Eddie Murphy. I'd like to report a crime. Huh? <laughs> okay, just once. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, now. I would like to talk to you about some of the things that you've been saying on the show. Now, can I get some service? <laughs> okay, I'd like to report that somebody is... He's... It's funny, he's gone. Never mind. Boy, I'm thirsty. Can swear, can I get some Avion or something? Uh, let's go, man. Let's do this. Ah, uh, Eddie. Don't you hate when your mouth get all dry and you get that white and stuff all up in here? Had that crust running on the side. People be looking at you going, Damn, is that Eddie Murphy or Cecily Tyson? <laughs> Here's your water. Eddie, don't be frightened. I'm just here to do whatever it takes to have you come and do one, just one guest spot on this show. I'll clean the house. I'll sit on your table. Hey, let me update your suit. Take the bells out for you. That's it. I'm calling Joe Piscopone. He's going to come up here. He's going to bust your ass. Well, right. you know, Joe, Joe could use the work. Yes, the steroids definitely affected his career. Oh. Yo, what seems to be the problem now? I don't know, my man. She seems to be stuck. Look, just got it, all right? You can run, but you can't hide, Eddie. Cape Weir 2. Our people tell us it's coming soon to a theater near you.